Today marks the anniversary of an important but grim day in U.S. history. National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day honors those who died during and after Japan's attack on December 7, 1941. Survivors and veterans attended the annual commemoration ceremony in Hawaii today. It was closed to the public because of COVID regulations. In Washington, D.C., a wreath was placed before the lone sailor statue at the U.S. Navy Memorial to honor the men and women who have served. Here's a live look at the Mount Diablo beacon. It shines in honor of those who lost their lives that day. KPI x Don Ford spoke with one World War II veteran, a survivor of the attack. The Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor in San Leandro, California. Who would have thought that there was a connection? 79 years ago, Mickey Gantek was assigned to the USS Pennsylvania in Pearl Harbor. Now at 101, he lives here in San Leandro. Mickey says that Sunday morning suddenly went to hell and Mickey raced to his battle station, which was at the top mast lookout position. He had a bird's eye view of the attack. Some of, some of those planes were lower down than I was. So as you have torpedo planes, so a torpedo plane has to come down low, drop its torpedo, and then go back up. So some of those planes flying around were lower down, lower down than I was here. Yeah. Mickey's home is decorated with all kinds of memories from his 23 years in the Navy. Models of his old ship, photos of his workstation. His ship received a direct hit, but didn't sink because it was in dry dock at the time. A 500-pound bomb missed me by about 45 feet, came on past me, went to two decks, exploded way below me. It shook me, but it didn't hurt me there. If it exploded on the contact, I wouldn't be here talk, talking to you. To commemorate and honor our World War II veterans on this December 7th, the old Mount Diablo beacon is once again lighted. It used to guide aircraft in from the east to help the Bay Area. Admiral Nimitz, who said that going forward every December 7th, the beacon should be lit, lest we forget. And so it is. But this year, it is done remotely due to the senior age of both the veterans and the concerns for COVID. The Save Mount Diablo website has video of the virtual event. In Walnut Creek, Don Ford, KPIX 5.